All right, Cindy, thank you. You may want to head to the theater to escape the heat also. This summer, a beloved Jane Austen classic is the toast of off-Broadway. Bedlam's production of Sense and Sensibility has downtown theater goers raving. His rich wife, not a sympathetic creature, moved into Norland Park the day after the funeral. There's sister drama, a not so nice sister in law, intrigue, adventure, and plenty of humor set in 18th century England. With us live this morning is actor playwright Kate Hamill. She co stars as Marianne Dashwood, one of the sisters, but she also adapted the book for this production. Thank you for being here. Of course, I'm so pleased to be here. What is it about this classic that you, that you think still resonates today? Um, well, I think it's, uh, first of all, I think it's. Uh, female-centered story um, and I think female-centered stories are universal and for me I'm not talking about the scholarly view um, sense and sensibility is very much about how we respond to social pressures do mm -hmm. you follow all the rules like Eleanor or do you break all the rules like Marianne and that's like your character yes Marianne is ex very extreme she breaks all the rules she sort of throws caution to the wind and there are real consequences for her um, so for me, I think that still resonates to a lot of people. We still see the consequences of that mm -hmm. today, especially with social media. Right. Um, there's a lot of shaming that goes on and that constricts people. Um, but it's also a story about love between family members mm -hmm. and falling in love. And that's universal. And it's so funny. Jane Austen was so funny. That's what I was going to say. Okay, because they're also dealing with the sudden death of their father. But your adaptation is very humorous and witty. How did you decide on that? Um, you know, I get really frustrated when people uh, talk about Jane, uh, Jane Austen in a sort of way like she's chiclet. They tend to focus on the romance, and of course there is so much romance and love. Um, but she's so dry and funny. Um, so I really wanted to uh, do an adaptation that focused on that, and I also think um, but the director of this production, Eric Tucker, who's also Bedlam's artistic director, really wanted to bring out the humor, and our cast is full of people. Um, we all have sort of a stupid, ridiculous sense of humor, so we try to make each other laugh all the time. <laughs> and that comes out in the production. And talk a little bit about your work with the director, because the, the, the theater is not set up in a, in a typical way. Yeah, I mean, Eric's such a genius of staging. We sort of came into, we first did this production in 2014 in Rep with the Seagull, and um, uh, we brought it back in mm -hmm. this year because it was a hit, thank God. Um, and the first day we came in to rehearsal for this, Eric was like, okay, it's going to be like, you know, an alley and things are going to roll in and out. And I just think that takes such a, a visual mind and such an innovative mind to think like, okay, we're going to have stuff rolling in right. and out. And audience members sit across from each other. So not only are you taking in the action, and we do talk to the audience members, you're taking in the audience members across from you. Mm -hmm. So it's really like a community feeling. And just lastly, because we just have a few seconds left, you're from the farms and fields, you say, of upstate New York. Oh, yeah. So what is it like for you to be part of such a hit off-Broadway play and be on the stage here in the city? Well, I'm really, really grateful. Um, you know, it's been a... Uh, it's been a long time labor of love. I've sort of devoted my life to being an actor and a playwright. So to have this hit that people love is, I'm just so grateful for it. And I think we all feel like that. Thank you so much for being here. Thank we so, so appreciate much. it. I know you're going straight to the theater and you're working on Little Women and Pride and Prejudice. So more to, more to come. Yeah. Thank, thank you so thank much, you so Kate. Much. And you can see Bedlam Sense and Sensibility through October 2nd at the gym at Judson, 243 Thompson Street in Greenwich Village. And we'll be right back.